Mario Kart. We love it, right? Even though we can universally agree that Mario Kart is great, in terms of the aspects of Mario Kart, that's something that we can't universally agree with. There are definitely some things that I dislike about Mario Kart. And there's some things that I absolutely love about Mario Kart. Hot takes, here we come. Toad Circuit is a good track. Oh boy, we're off to an amazing start. I so very horrendously disagree with this one. I think that Toad Circuit is the absolute worst the bottom of the barrel track in the Booster Course Pass and it's not even close. And it's Toad Circuit. So even if it was a good remake, it wasn't a good track in the first place. <laughs> 3DS Rainbow Road is mid. Wow, I know that's going to trigger a lot of people. I disagree, but I kind of understand where you're coming from here. For me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of sectioned tracks in Mario Kart. However, I do think that this Rainbow Road track is the best one out of all of them. I think the Woohoo tracks are very boring and that is going to give me a lot of hate. However, things get interesting when you compare it to other Rainbow Road tracks. As I said, I'm not the biggest fan of sectioned races. So when you put this track up against more fast paced, crazy Rainbow Roads like SNES Rainbow Road and Wii Rainbow Road, that's when things start to get a little bit iffy for me personally and that's when I start to disagree that this track is a lot better than people are saying it is but I disagree that this track is mid I actually enjoy this track I am not on the bandwagon of oh yeah this is the best rainbow road track DS Mario Circuit isn't a bad track I agree with this mostly because of nostalgia to be honest, I can't really fault anyone who disagrees with this take because obviously, especially if you're someone who's coming from any game outside of DS, you will have no connection to this track. So when you play it for the first time, I mean, you might think it's pretty neat, I suppose, but this is nowhere near the best circuit track in the whole series or anything like that. But especially as someone whose first Mario Kart was DS, yeah, this isn't the best track, not the best circuit track. And the reason why I like it is because it reminds me of my childhood. If you look at the track itself, it's alright. It's decent. It gets the job done. It's just average Mario Circuit track, but keyword average. There are better ones out there. Wave 1 was an incredible start to the Booster Course Pass. Sure, could have been better, but I don't think any of the tracks were straight up bad outside of Toad Circuit. Good man. And it introduced many people to what the tour tracks were going to be like with Ninja Hideaway. Ending the pass on a ridiculously high note. I agree with this. I actually agree with this. Literally, the track selection was pretty decent, especially for the first one. I'm not saying it was anything crazy, but at the same time, there was some nostalgia for me. There were a couple of neat tracks that were added. Coconut Mall was in there, like, come on. The music was top tier from the beginning. And on top of that, the tour tracks that were introduced, okay, they weren't the best tour tracks, but it was a nice introduction, especially for people like myself, because at the time of the Booster Calls Pass, I never actually played any of the tour tracks. So being able to play them for the first time on 8 Deluxe was really cool. And obviously because it was on 8 Deluxe, it was most likely the definitive version of those tracks. So I appreciate that greatly. Obviously Wave 1 is one of the weaker waves overall in the Booster Calls Pass, but we had to start from somewhere. And to be honest, we could have done a lot worse than this. This is going to be an 86k degree take. I see what you did there. The Mario Kart 8 Wii U battle mode was good. Not because it was as fun as other variations, but because it was funny to just drive around normal tracks, but with balloons. I will give you a small 0.5 point for acknowledging that it was funny to drive around normal tracks but it's battle mode I mean yeah during battle mode when I played it for the first time I literally just played through the track as normal just for kicks um that was pretty funny I'll give you that but to say that it was good <laughs> 
I mean, it was good at being bad, I'll give you that. I mean, in my opinion, the battle mode in Mario Kart 8 is just as bad as you not subscribing and turning on the bell notification if you haven't done so already. You see what I did there. Basically, if you love Nintendo and you love Mario Kart, you would absolutely love this channel. We tend to cover it quite a lot here. So make sure that you hit the big red subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss a single one of my videos. Thanks. Wario's Gold Mine was never a good track. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we're back to piping hot. Um, I severely disagree here. Now, am I biased because I grew up with Mario Kart Wii? Yes. That is a point that you can put in there. However, I think as a track, I liked it more than Cooper Cape. I'm just going to put that out there, that's my hot take. It was challenging, it was fun, it was fast paced, the music was great, the atmosphere was amazing, the design was really good. You couldn't really go wrong with this track, unless you got frustrated with the difficulty because I do acknowledge that on Mario Kart Wii, Wario's Goldmine was very very difficult, but in my opinion, this is the definition of a hectic, fun Mario Kart track. And I think it done a pretty decent job with that. Even the 8 version was pretty good. Obviously it got nerfed in terms of difficulty. But even then it was still fun to race on. Oh no way. Keeper Keep is a severely overrated track. Someone who finally agrees with me. Wow, that's crazy. That's, that's honestly crazy. I was not expecting that. So I'm not weird. So I'm not weird. Okay, that's that's a nice reassuring thought for me. It's fine in Wii, but it's not one of the best tracks in the entire game. 8 Deluxe is where it's at its worst to play. This guy is literally <laughs> speaking my language. What's going on right now? Don't get twisted. I am not saying that I dislike Cooper Cape. I actually really like Cooper Cape. However, if I were to put it in a tier list, it would not be an S tier. It would be an A tier. I think it's a very solid track, but to say that it's one of the best in Wii, that is a stretch in my opinion. Like I said, I prefer Wario's Gold Mine far more, infinitely more than Cooper Cape. Like every metric that I mentioned earlier, all of that is 10 times better in Wario's Gold Mine compared to Cooper Cape. And another track that gets compared to Cooper Cape a lot is Maple Treeway. I'm sorry, the fact that that's even a comparison is insulting. Like, Maple Treeway is here, Cooper Cape is here. I'm sorry, that's... What are we doing? Mario Kart Tour is the second best Mario Kart. Just watch this video, man. I can't be arsed. Waluigi Pinball is one of the worst Mario Kart courses ever designed. What? <laughs> what do you mean? That That's a crazy one. That's a crazy bar. Now, if you wanted to say that Waluigi Pinball is overrated, I'm all in favor for that. But to say that it's one of the worst Mario Kart courses ever designed, that is a stretch. <laughs> I would even be all right if you said that the layout of Waluigi Pinball was disappointing or average. That I can potentially see, but bad? <laughs> one of the worst? Nah. <laughs> I, I do not see that. I'm not going to bore you guys with why Waluigi Pinball is a great track because everyone and their nan loves <laughs> Waluigi Pinball. But at the same time, I do think that's a bit of a misconception. Lots of people say that it's one of the best tracks simply based off of the theming. Don't get me wrong, the theming and the music are absolutely top tier. But if you look at the track layout itself, it's not the best. <laughs> like, there's no shortcut. And even though this is Waluigi Pinball, there aren't a lot of branching paths for you to take. It's a pretty standard generic track layout. So I would probably say it's generic or alright, but to say that it's one of the worst, wow. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. Oh, I think I may have saved the best for last. Okay, this is definitely going to be a hot take. Mission mode is good and I do wish it would return but I don't think it's as incredible as most people say it is. Some of the missions aren't very fun to do and feel like they're just to make the mode longer. I do agree that not every single mission is a winner 
not all of them are equally as fun to play. I'll, I'm 100% with you on that. But I don't think that impacts how good the mission mode is altogether. And as a concept as well. Mission modes bosses are kind of lackluster. Yo, this guy's not holding back. <laughs> I think the only one I think is actually good is probably Goon Boss. You didn't like Wiggler? That was literally the Goon Boss boss on steroids. <laughs> it was a longer track to race on and Wiggler was much more violent than Goon Boss. <laughs> Really? I mean, fair play, but it's still a good mode. There are fun missions here and there, and it does have a lot of content, but it's a bit overhyped to me. Oh, and as a bonus, I actually don't hate Paratrooper that much. Yeah, I don't hate Paratrooper. I think Paratrooper's cool. But no, don't try to change the subject, though. Thanks for your comment, but still, uh, I think that mission mode is worth the hype, personally. I, I do understand your perspective, saying that some missions aren't as good as others there are definitely some filler missions in there and there are a couple of repeats in there but i think the stages and the increased difficulty helps things obviously if it was like the same stages throughout the whole thing like just circuit tracks for example then it would be pretty deadpan but then in world 7 you have to do the drifting challenge on rainbow road okay for people who are good at the game that might not be too much of a big deal but on your first play that's a pretty big jump right even though it's the same mission so for me personally i think that mission mode especially the first and only mission mode in mario kart they've done a really good job and yeah man can't be dissing the bosses like that okay you know what i will give you big bully because we the players bullied him he was pretty pathetic